Episode 4, Guardian of Gotham is about to begin here on Batman, the Telltale series. We're not wasting any time, let's get right back into it. Episode 4, I'm excited to get right into this episode. Now, Episode 3, lots of shit happened in the previous episode. We found out the identity of uh, the bitch behind the entire revolution, Lady Arkham, which was actually, spoiler alert, Vicky Vale, that nosy ass, bitch ass news reporter, Why say is Lady you? Arkham. Let me hire my volume. I haven't quick. actually seen it yet. You've had me wrapped up this whole time, <laughs> numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's All right, there bad. we go. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs. Oh yeah, that's right. Face. Bruce Wayne's no longer the CEO of his company. Oswald Which is bullshit. And now Oswald has been has taken over his company. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D, and let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Chris. And of course, we romance Catwoman, which was probably the highlight Please, of the Selena, previous episode. I have to tell you how I. Ooh, and Harley found out, and we smashed his face right into the fridge. You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Drop your pen. That's not. And this bitch. This fucking bitch. This little shit. I Lady Arca. I am Lady Arca. Fucking bitch. Well, here we go, episode four. Second last episode. You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> what the fuck? Is he in Arkham it's Asylum? Nice. It's gotta be Arkham yeah. Asylum. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. Well, for Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? Arkham Asylum, here we are. Jumpsuit. Arkham Asylum. Son this can't of a bitch. Be happening. We gotta get out of here. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. <laughs> what the hell did they do? Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. This can't be real. <sighs> Better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give Don't it out. Don't mess with me. Of course I could make an exception for you. Do you have any idea who I am? Sure I do. Bruce Wayne. 
The spoiled brat that nearly beat his replacement to death when they took away his company. And now you're here. Exactly where you belong. Might as well get comfortable. You son of a bitch. Time to meet your neighbors. Uh oh. As you were. I don't think I saw that. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Let's beat Let them up. rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. Yeah, you. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. Go on then. Hit me. Don't get cocky, Wayne. Oh, really? Oh, hell no. Hell no. Come on, Bruce. There we go. Son of a bitch. Are you kidding me right now? The welcoming committee has really gone downhill around here, hasn't it? What the? Fruit! Turtlish! Not Who is that? Nice. How do you like it? You are pathetic! Wait a minute. Oh shit, it's the Joker. Buddy. Oh, buddy. Are you okay? Oh my god, it's the Joker. So More like the opposite. What would that be? I thank you. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look I guess it's the Joker other, before he became the Joker, know, right? What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. <clears throat> I don't really know what happened. This is all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Safe. And how do you plan to do that? You're hardly the first patient in Arkham Asylum to be attacked. I'm sure we can figure something out. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Joker. <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. What the fuck? <laughs> Joker. Oh my god, so this is how... Joker's origin. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. But there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! <laughs> Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself now. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. No, careful. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> Gotta be more careful, Bruce. 
some of these guys bite. You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well... <laughs> what the... That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> then stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this! Stop! Come on, I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Episode 4, here we go. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Arkham Asylum. Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. Guardian of Gotham. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham! Is that Victor Bruce? Zaz? Use that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage. The usual. The usual. See, on the couch, that's St. Louis. <laughs> His favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. Oh, a key. I guess we can walk around now. Billy. You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. If that's the way the cookie crumbles. Cookie. Cookie crumbs. That's it. The right key for this. Son of a bitch. Nurses station? Hey, uh, I was wondering about. It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't. It's not time for meds either. Beat it. Fucking prick. I saw the cookie, not you. Okay, alright, before I try that, let me. See who else I can talk to here. Victor Zaz. So that is Zaz. Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. The guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah. Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic, unpredictable. Not speaking as a, <clears throat> as a profession. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic, I'll give him that much. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me, I missed you. However, the threat Harvey remains. fucking Dent. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on is there. What 
do you want? Any idea what this opens? How the hell should I know? Get that thing away from me. I don't want any trouble with the orderlies. Hmm. Wait, that's the boat you're going to visit, huh? What do you want? So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Wait, is that the guy that we fought? Or is he a different guy? What's that? Give, what, I don't want to give him a key. Batman really did a number on this guy. Oh, it is him. Just let him be. Hmm. It didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears. But this one... This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. Son of a bitch. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Son Arkham of a Asylum, bitch. where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> Double cross and two faced. <laughs> I thought you and the mayor were friends. You were supporting his betrayed me. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Oh well, you had a good run, right? He is the reason I am in here. I can't believe he did this. Quite the temper on you. I have one too. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television! Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Oh, Let what do you know? Ya. What do you know? Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Fucking Vicky Vale bitch. after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady. How does he know? Wait, you know that Vicky is... Tell me what you know. You wanna find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? <laughs> Publicly and dramatically. Something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Ooh, I'd love to see that. I'll find a way to take her down. But I'm doing it my way. Quietly. Could be interesting. Little Bruce lurking in the shadows. Though I think we both know you could do more. I've been watching you for a while. Don't tell me he knows he's Batman. And I can tell there's something darker in you. Oh, does he know? When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. Damn. If those cops had dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. After everything Oswald has done to me, yeah, I'm kind of glad it happened, because he deserved it. 
Am I glad to see you embracing those feelings? They're very natural. Especially a guy like you, who clearly takes after his father. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. That's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... <sighs> Assume I can take care of that. <laughs> It's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Sure, one favor that seems fair. Excellent. <laughs> we'll have loads of fun. You'll see. I tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Uh-oh. Oh! No! No, 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 I don't match anymore. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! Skip Son of a bitch. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Ben, stop! Someone give me a sedative! Uh-oh. Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Stop the fighting, use the phone. Stop the fighting. What the hell happened? What happened? Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. John, he's the one that started the whole thing. Oh, shit. John has been a model patient for months, Mr. Wayne. You, on the other hand, have been involved in two violent instances, and you're not even through your first day. You'll have to forgive me if I find your accusation hard to believe. You gotta be shitting me. One moment. 
Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Oh. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. Miss Butler's here to collect him. About damn time. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I appreciate your concern, Doctor, but I assure you, I'm fine. You don't know that, Bruce. I'm the medical professional, and from everything I've observed, you're clearly in need of treatment. Shut the fuck up. I'm, I'm out of your here. Hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. Yeah, shut your bitch ass up. Oh, Joker. Ask the fails. Ask her parents. Hmm. What's that about? <laughs> that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. So many people angry at me. The entire family. I just hope I can turn it around. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You always do. Harvey? Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. They're only dangerous because you made them dangerous. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping people safe. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. You're pathetic, Harvey. Oh. Not even mayor for a week and already the pressure's gotten to you. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. Son of a you bitch. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. Oh, shit. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What the hell? What's going on here? Well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> well, maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. You have a warrant? 
I know my goddamn rights, and you better oh. have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Pfft, of course. Should've known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! Punch him! Oh. Careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot! Son of a bitch. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. Get out of my face. You can still leave. And I would take advantage of that while both your kneecaps are still attached correctly. Oh. Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me. Yeah, I filmed the whole thing. They should lock you up. Oh, God. I... Hufford, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get uh -oh. out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! Alright, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded, hmm? And well armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? I'm sure Mayor's we do. Hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him Ram the barricade. Hey, he's the problem, not us. Back off, back off, people. Bruce. Hey, your father committed innocent people to Arkham and made sure they stay there for the. Ram rest the barricade. Of if you know what's good for you. Ram the barricade. This isn't the Batman you just do. Ram it, damn it. Hey. There we go. Selena. Oh shit! What she want to talk about? Jesus, she's he's been drugged what do you heavily. Mean you're leaving. Bruce, Harvey's clearly leaving. lost it. All over the news, yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Okay, don't you think you're being just a little overdramatic? Harvey wouldn't kill you. No? Look what he's done to you. And you're the type of person who shows up in headlines. He could have me killed and no one would ever know. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. She really leaving just like that? See you around. Good luck with all of this. You've got to be shitting me. Is she going to return or what? need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. I have to do something. Don't get in my way, Al. I wouldn't dream of stopping you, but let's address the problem at hand first. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. 
Start a DNA scan, then. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. All right, let's check these new codex, updated codex. Jesus Christ! Harvey, Vicky Fucking Vale, Gordon, the Penguin. Lady Arkham, children of, of Arkham leader, Joker, all right, that's enough of that, Gotham feed. Oh shit, this just happened. Harvey fucking Dent. Alright, let's check out these stuff. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. Hmm. Seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can kill ah, others. Shit, not by this the drug. shit. No. You've got to be the kidding worst me. Possible. This cure is Wait based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to. Sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. There we go. That should do it. The antidote. needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Alright, push it in. <laughs> Is it working? Oh, it worked. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman, trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish I never trusted her. I never her. trusted her. There was always something off. Your instincts are very rarely wrong, sir. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station. And I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? The fence intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Bruce! Yeah? 
Uh, if you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. All right, here we go. Gotham Heights. The Batman. I'm inside the Vale House. What the fuck? What the fuck happened here? Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed that there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. My God. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Let's link these two. Oh. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Who is that? Alright, what else can I look at here? Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. Hmm. What's this over here? Hair. A lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. What do we got in here? Lock. What the fuck? Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Alright, let's link the logo to the picture. match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Son of a bitch. Alright, what, what else was there? What's that? Belt buckle. Hair. Hmm. Probably nothing to do with it. The indentation matches the shape. Or maybe it does. Oh. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. Okay, so that's that. What's this over here? Knife. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? 
Let's link this to this. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back oh. with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Oh. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating what the a fuck? deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find It's a kid, isn't it? Clear. Nothing here. It's the kid. Anything? No. All right, upstairs then. There's oh, someone wait a minute. under the stairs, alive. Hidden panel. Oh. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Hey, it's gonna be okay. Gonna be alright. Something bad happened out here. I know it might be scary. But I need your help. Can you do that? Okay. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down. Uh oh. Son of a bitch. Well, hello, Batman. What a <laughs> pleasure to see you. Penguin. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little bat traps all over the city. But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. Ah! <laughs> you kidding me? Oh no. Oh.
Nice work, kid. <gasps> oh, shit. They're dead. It'll be better if you don't look. Oh. I'm sorry. They weren't always nice, but they gave me a place to live. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. What's his name? I forgot. What's the kid's name? Is Batman. it Tim? No, it's not Tim. Oh Can't be God. Tim. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. Oh. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? That's right. And so, who was the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not any more, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. And I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Yeah, out of my way, fool. Back at the Bat Cave so soon? So your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Of course. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. Hmm. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different Bruce I have Lucius on screen now good evening Bruce how can I help I need you to see something sending you schematics God someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades not just someone Oswald Cobblepot Bruce I am so sorry I should have caught this but he snuck right under my nose this is your fault. Just that sleaze cobble pot at the heart of it all. This is your fault. I asked you to stay at Wayne Tower so you could prevent oh. this very thing. That's what I've been doing. I promise you, I'm going to help you figure out how to stop him. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now, but if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're onto him. No time for stealth. Let's turn the tables. 
No time for stealth, Lucius. You need to get those firewalls augmented fast. And if he notices, well, we'll figure it out from there. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite... Are you shitting me? ...the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his You've property gotta be shitting and turn me. it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. You've got to be shitting me. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable. Random. Who knows how he hmm. will react either way. No, I'm going to go as Bruce for this one. Problem, not Batman's. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I know you can get through to him. I feel like Bruce might be the better option for this one. Bruce Wayne. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? Don't screw this up, Harvey. Harvey, we need to talk. If you've come to save your home, you're wasting your time. My mind is made up. I have always supported you. You were my friend. Tell me, Bruce, were you thinking about our friendship oh my with God. screwing Selena? Get over it. pissed off at me about sleeping with Selena. I get it. But this has to stop. Now. Gotham deserves a mayor that can focus on cleaning up this city. That's why I'm taking your money, your home, everything. It's time that you started paying your debt to Gotham. For the value of your estate, it could be used to do a lot of good. It's not my debt to pay. What my parents did was not my fault. Nobody cares. The deal is done. A strong leader doesn't back down. When they see an enemy, they crush them without hesitation. I made a promise to the city that I would make it better. And that I would weed out the crime and corruption. You're not a leader. All you do oh. is drum up fear, hoping that people will line up and hide behind you. And nothing you do to me will change that. If that were true, I wouldn't be able to do what's necessary to take out the children of Arkham. What are you talking about? Ready to go. Uh-oh, what, what are they doing? Do it. What are you doing? What the fuck what have the you hell done? Did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Oh man, that blast was way bigger than you said. We must have taken out a whole city block with it. Oh. Hey man, we lost a bunch of our own guys. What the, the fuck? Jesus Christ. We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. Hey, how quickly can we get a fire truck here? You can't believe it. You actually have lost your mind. You're a lunatic. I have a strong feeling that history will say otherwise. I couldn't just destroy the drugs. I had to make a statement. I needed the children of Arkham and any other potential enemies waiting in the shadows to know what I'm capable of. That I'll do anything to protect my city. That I am the guardian of Gotham. After what you've done tonight, everyone in Gotham is going to see who they really elected mayor. And when that happens, they will. Two Face will remember you. that. Oh. On the contrary, Bruce. This is what Gotham wanted. Oh, I can see tomorrow's headlines already. Hero Mayor saves citizens from Children of Arkham terror plot. Meanwhile, somewhere in the back they'll stick the article about 
Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide. What the hell are you talking about? All the shame you've suffered was just too much for you to bear. Your family's history, getting forced out of your company. Oh, uh, careful. Losing all your money. He might do something. No one will question finding you dead in Crime Alley so soon after you got out of Son of, of a bitch. Tragic, but unsurprising. Threat him. Punch him. Maybe even dear old Alfred will shed a tear. Oh, there we go. That was satisfying. That's the last one you get. One more time. Are you shitting me right now? Come on, keep walking. Shut up. Just wait. Just keep moving. Look at what you're doing. This is wrong. And you know it. Hey, he said shut up. Cops! You're supposed to protect people. Keep them safe. Is this really what your badge stands for? This is how we're keeping people safe. You son the of a of bitch. Arkham are trying to tear the city apart. We're saving it. Yeah, we finally got a leader who wants results. You gotta see it. What the penguin did to him. He changed him. He's... He's just had to get more firm in the face of the children of Ark. He still got the city's best interests at heart. Your mayor just blew up a city block. Sometimes to help the greater good, there's a price to pay. People died. Your fellow officers died. I... I... But if you think that's where he's going to stop, you're just as crazy as he is. I... Uh, maybe, uh... Maybe he has a point. Shut up! Oh, you this just little shit. You don't understand! That's why we need to take you out. Maybe, maybe what? Uh, nothing. You know I'm telling the truth. And I know you're hearing me. You're right. Oh God, I was about to, I'm sorry. Oh, what the hell? The stones for this. You Officer, little shit. Drop your weapon. Shoot him, Gordon. Oh. You okay? Yeah. You really showed up in the nick of time. How'd you even find me? Denton just blew up a whole city block. I know, I know. The reports I'm hearing are just awful. that has gone way, way too far. He's supposedly trying to stop the children of Arkham, but now he's become a goddamn terrorist himself. A terrorist with half the city's support behind him. God, the amount of blood on his hands. He and Lady Arca might be neck and neck on body count by this point. Dent needs to be stopped, Jim. Now. Or that block won't be the last thing that gets destroyed. Uh, we'll stop him. But it ain't gonna be easy. It's a mess out there. I can't help but feel guilty. Batman gave me the information on where to find Lady Arkham's drug stockpile. I hand it into my superiors and... God, this happens. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help. But I feel like my hands are tied every direction I turn. Grogan's out for Batman's head, as soon as he can figure out a way to do it. <sighs> I've never felt this frustrated with a system in my entire career. Sounds to me like you're already on the right path. Weeding the bad seeds out of the department. Cutting down the enforcers. Yeah, I just hope it'll be enough. Everything is such a goddamn mess. Do you need a ride? Thanks, but I've got it taken care of. The Batmobile. Lucius, what's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing but the feedback We're in our bat suit now. He's somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the back computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. He has a device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Uh oh. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor oh, as we speak, no. and he's not alone. Already? 
<laughs> Already? Oh shit. What the hell? Sir, are you alright? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places mm. at once. Now, Wayne Enterprises. I need to stop Penguin. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. Let's do this. Wayne Enterprises, 12.01 a.m. Are you there? I'm off site, but I've tapped into the security systems to give us an advantage. I can let you know where all's old guards are and which routes are clear. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can do that too. Avoid that hallway. More guards ahead. Go right. Wait. Drones ahead. Turn around. Head for the elevator. I'm opening the doors. <laughs> opening the doors now. There nice we go. I assume Oswald is in my office. Naturally. Damn Oswald couple pot. Damn it! Does anyone have him? Useless, you, you're all bloody useless! Hey, it's the bad. You're a dead man! Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again. Globe while you can, couple pot. I'm taking you down. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. Been a few scuffles here and there. That's not a smart bet. Well, I've got a bit of inside information that gives me the advantage. You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city. And there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we can control nations. Spare me the chatter, Cobblepot. Afraid not, mate. This has been in the making for a long, long time. What are we gonna do? You know, way was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. <laughs> oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Big trick, though. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Not just for fashion. It's very functional. Face it, bat. What the hell are we going to do? Unmatched. Your tech, you're just a man in a pointy ear costume. You can't stop us. Watch me. What are we gonna do? All right, there we go. Come on, Batman. Show me what you got. Come on, punch his ass. My you kidding me right now? You're pathetic. Oh, come on. That's right, that's right. Uh, 
How do you even find this? Yeah, that little butte is almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. A few more minutes, all your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. Oh, is this how it feels when you put on that suit? I like it! You shitting me right now. Are you kidding me? You gotta be shitting me right now. What is Haven't that? You learned yet? I've shut you down. I'm the one with the toys now, but you've got to be kidding this me. This is the start of a new legacy, and I'm afraid. You don't have any place in it. Knock him out, knock him out. Oh. There we go. Finishes. Oh. oh, you psycho! Stay this down. Isn't the end, Batman. You can't stop us. It's done, Cobblepot. Your revolution is over. It started with you, and it ends with Lady. Oh, oh good luck. You'll never find her in time. Where is she? What is she planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. The city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off! I'm not telling you anything. And when she's ready, she'll find you. Tell me! I will tell you. Do you? All right, knock him out now. Restrain him. Knock him out. Oh. What the? Just cut me down, mate. Oh shit, the wing manor. What happened here? Where's Alfred? What the hell happened here? Is this really necessary? I mean, what will people say? <laughs> Just tell him, wait, put up a fight. <laughs> what the fuck? What happened to Alfred? I, that was it? Oh, wow. Well, he promised Joker a favor. Maybe we shouldn't have promised him, actually. Oh, damn. Alright, guys. We just finished episode 4. This one was a bit shorter than the... Oh, there's no next time. Alright, episode 5. One last episode. I'll be starting it real soon. Alright, thanks for watching. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your mate, Doug Zodi. And I'll see you guys in the next video.